I grew up in San Francisco, born and raised, big family, and uh, I think along the lines of like being with a single parent, um, you learn things. You learn how to survive at a young age. Um, some of those survival skills that I've acquired at a younger age weren't necessarily beneficial in my adulthood. So that kind of led me into doing the crime that I did, which was white collar, stealing money, um, because I believed at the time that the end justifies the means. So that's kind of like what led me to incarceration and my new birth now. My mindset going into prison was, I don't want to go, but if God allows it to happen, then it's for his purpose. So therefore, if that happens, then I understand it's for the betterment of me. Um, so um, I kind of went into it just feeling like, okay, I surrender. And that was one of the prayers I always did. Like, I surrender, but I don't know what surrender looks like. I don't know what you're going to call me to do. And, and when I was incarcerated is when I think he definitely gave me just a glimpse of how he wants to use me in my new, like, journey. Um, so I started going back to school because when I got home, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And the crazy thing about it is, when I was gone for the first 18 months, I actually had vision boards um, and like all the thoughts that ever came to me and like plans to execute, like blueprints to execute, all these different business ideas. But then I got home and I was like, what is my purpose, what is my passion? And it was people and it was like, I want to coach people in life based off of the Christian principles that I've learned but then when I was looking into going to school for life coaching uh, it said that it was a master's degree and I said oh okay well I mean I started my bachelor's degree but I didn't finish it because it was in accounting and I wasn't really into interested in accounting it was more so I did it as a single mother so um, that kind of drove me into wanting to get back to school so going to school now I'm going to school for business management um, with um, like a concentration in entrepreneurship so I'm I'm excited about that a part of also doing the life coaching like I want to do this thing where I'm helping women um, start their own business right um, but then also with that it's encouraging women to understand their worth and their abilities even if you weren't necessarily affirmed that growing up or even coming out of incarceration I mean there were tons of women that were around me that felt like they couldn't do it um, but I think that's where my faith ties in because I'm not I am not confident because of my own abilities I'm only confident because of my faith and my purpose and my alignment in God so I would always encourage every woman coming out and even males too, like to pursue something different like if you want something different you have to do something different being part of the the organization is more so like I want to be a part of the solution I want to be a part of the innovation I want to be a part of you know bringing something new um, and I think that that's the benefit is we all have different backgrounds. We all come from different places. We all have different experiences and, and embrace prison differently.